the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. The Catholic Church proclaims that the path to true human freedom and human flourishing is found in walking as a disciple of Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church affirms that there is a dignity to all human work, no matter what type of work it is, and that is because of the dignity of the human worker who is engaged in it. That worker is created in the very image and likeness of God. And that dignity, the dignity of every human person, was a part of the Father's loving plan of creation. It was elevated to an even greater height through the incarnation of Jesus, the worker of Nazareth. On this feast of St. Joseph the worker, we should continue to reflect upon the creative and redemptive value of all human work, especially when that work is joined to Jesus Christ, the worker. St. Joseph, the worker, pray for us. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the Church. Our Savior Jesus taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We thank you that promise includes each one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love which is stronger than death, along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses the Bible speaks of. They've gone before us marked with the sign of redemption and they live their lives by faith. They inspire us by their holy lives. They also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. In a special place of honor in that communion is St. Joseph. He said yes to your call to be the chaste husband of Mary, the mother of the Lord, the foster father of Jesus, and the guardian of the Redeemer. A man of few words, Joseph spoke with action and calls us to the way of active faith. The patron of all workers also shows us the dignity of all human work when joined to Jesus. Joseph always said yes to your invitations of grace. He always put Mary and Jesus ahead of himself. And he invites us to do the same in our own daily lives. The carpenter who taught the child Jesus to work with wood in the workshop of Nazareth now shows us that all human work participates in the loving plan of redemption. At 33 years old, Jesus, the carpenter's son, freely embraced the wood of the cross and reconciled us to you and to one another for the sake of the world. Joseph loved Jesus and Jesus loved Joseph and that love continues. St. Joseph, you who love Jesus with a genuine fatherly love, we now ask you to pray for us as we follow the way of Jesus in our everyday lives. You understand the challenges of raising a family, earning a living, facing the difficulties of life, and always remaining faithful to God. We now turn to you and we ask for your intercession. By your prayers, obtain for us the special graces we need to be faithful to our own specific vocation and to live our lives in service to Jesus as you did. St. Joseph, today I specifically ask you, and now here, add your own specific intention. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Joseph, the worker, pray for us. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
come upon you and be with you forever. Amen.